Welcome to Unreal World Mackenzie. We're going hunting a bear to complete that task, hopefully. And we're a bit injured, but we're going to risk it for the biscuit. Hopefully we'll heal a bit this morning before we encounter the bear. It might not work out that way. Give him a little more food than that. And no, hold on. Okay. Drop this where he can guard it. Find javelin. Find spear. Masterwork broad knife. Find longbow. And like five fine arrows. 6% carrying penalty. Let's. If we drop the bow and the arrows, what happens? It's 5%. If we only have the spear, it's still 5%. So we'll drop the bow and the arrows when we get into melee range with the bear. But the bow and arrows might be useful, even though I don't think, I don't think we'll be using them. Forgot to say goodbye to the dog. Oh well. And it's a bit southwest of here. And it's a bit south of here. Okay. Thought we exited where the tracks were, but I guess not. And we haven't healed yet, which is a bit of a bummer. I don't think we will before this fight concludes. But... Forgive my looking over my shoulder constantly, paranoia, but... Okay. That looks very fresh. Let's see if it is. Nope, it's day old. No running into trees for this hunt, please. Thank you. Day old. So we've got the javelin in our good arm, ready to throw. And we 
we've got our spear in the other arm ready to switch after we've thrown the javelin. Still day old. Just going back, leading back where I came from. Try somewhere new. No running into trees, please. I think I did three, right? I'll do one more, but I did three already. Okay. I think I can go through here. Yep. Not a bear, just a bird. Where are we relative? We're kind of south of where we saw it. Another bird. I guess we should have kept following the tracks and not try to outguess where the bear went. Another bird. Saw brown and for an instant I'm like, huh, but no. Now where are we? Oh, now we're kind of north. You're not guessing well, but again, if we continue not guessing well, we'll get the heal in for the morning. So this is one case where I'm not terribly disappointed that my hunt is not progressing very smoothly so far. I still suspect we'll find the bear before we get our heal in. 
because it's still early morning. But that could change at any time. Strawberry shrub looks like it's ripe. It didn't say anything about having to wait weeks or months. If he's here, that would be great. Where are we now? Yeah, we've gone kind of east of where he was. I don't know. I think it's just I'm not seeing tracks that are there, and so I'm crossing over his path, not seeing it, and continuing on. Don't know how else I could have. Okay, here we go. Quite fresh. Another bird. Slow down, relax. Another bird. Maybe he did come in here. Don't see him. Still don't see him. some tracks. Quite fresh. Still don't see him. Very fresh. There is the bear. Let's have a look. Bear. Okay. Man, that made me jump. Well, we're not going to get a chance with our javelin. Take off the javelin. Hmm. 
Move the fine spear into the right hand and drop the bow and arrows and don't let him get behind us. Well, this would have been a great shot with the javelin, but I was not expecting him to do that. Dodge. Dodge. Doesn't penetrate. Dodge. So I got the first hit in. Dodge. Dodge. And my shoulder. He did quite a bit of damage. Let's look at him. This is annoying. He's he's barely injured and he's running away. I'm going to throw the spear. Missed him. Now I have to fight him with a javelin. Okay, and this will complete the Great Man of the Forest task. He's <laughs> back up. As I was saying, this will complete the great man of the forest task.
Don't forget our spear. And now we're off to Como next. Let's look at our injury. This bruise is the new one. And it's currently our most severe injury. Let's see, it was a blunt attack. That was dark green, so... We had good protection, but it still gave us quite a bruise. Um, we're not going to forget the spear. So drop the javelin. Take off my battle gear. Drop the gear. Rest off fatigue. Harmed. Seems a little bit chintzy. I, he just had minor punctures and then I, the rest of the fight was with a javelin. But okay. If you say so. Just give me a fine skin and we're call it good. Skin an animal. Fine bear skin. Very nice. And drop the skin. And now we can go get the spear. Is that it over there? Yes. Oh, and the crowberries are ripe. Or some of them are. Where were they? So let's pick two shrubs. Don't want to get carried away. Okay. Drop the berries. Drop the spear. And Butcher the bear. Now we're getting very hungry again. But we have cooked elk meat back at the camp. It's the beginning of hay month. And drop 183 cuts. We'll save the best cut for the spirits. Pick up the bear skull. Come over here. This tree looks looks fairly isolated. Is there a better tree somewhere? How about this tree? Well, there's a shrub right next to it. Now this tree looks like the best bet from what I can see. So, drop the skull, push it into the tree, make a sacrifice of the cut, 
I feel at ease. And if I rest off fatigue, I can probably go a little quicker. Nope. Let's see, yep, three miles an hour instead of two. We got our spear, got our longbow, got our arrows, got our broad knife, got our javelin. And going to Como and then make some clothing and hopefully find some foreign traders soon. And we'll bookmark them and that'll be easy to do. Salmon and trout, we have our net. Weapons of the North is easy. A cave is easy. Big Elk is questionable. But we are making excellent progress. So, where are we? We are a little southwest of our shelter. Make sure this bridge is a land bridge. I think they always are, but maybe just almost always when it's like this, the land supersedes the water. Okay, we're back. There's the dog having a great time. Okay, that's still cooking, so that's good news. We don't have, you know, a big time crunch, a, a logistics problem. Uh, we'll put the berries and the bones in there too. And let's eat something. Let's eat something like that and something like that. Ooh. Excuse me. I finished eating those. Let's unleash the dog. Ferryman unleashed. Let's feed the dog. He's been eating this whole time, so he's not hungry. Let's do some physician. can't do the bruise we'd need a bandage but we can do the other three quickly and easily just fine just fine okay but the most severe one was well, one of the two most severe ones was quickly and easily, so. Fifteen percent injury. There's that other bear. But uh, we're going to heal for at least a day before we do the other bear. Um... Feed the dog. And start on the bear skin.
clean the skin, hope for the best with our injury, no fatigue, haven't ruined it yet. Let's see if this is ready now. Nope, still cooking. Drop the knife. Pick up the fat. Feed the dog. Ooh, not, not that, this. Get the dog off of there and out of there. Rest off fatigue and try, well, let's eat something. Get our nutrition back up. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Too tasty. Sounds good. Ooh. Excuse me. We're back to nourished. And now we'll have a drink and work on the bear skin. And we're tired and we're weary. And that's now ready to go. So I think not tomorrow, but day after tomorrow is what it's looking like for the the, the next bear. I think that's just how it's going to time out. It's not that I'm... It's not that I couldn't do it tomorrow for, from an injury perspective. Ooh. Excuse me. Let's um, feed the dog. This is the wrong bone. Okay. There's a tree trunk to the south right there, to the east, a little bit south, and we'll go to sleep. Okay. Feed the dog. This nettle is not ready, I'm sure. A month, I keep saying a month. Black currant bush in a couple of months. Let's do some herb lore over here. Where was it? Some novel grass. Have a drink. We'll eat something. The bear cut should be okay, I think. Oh wait, no, we killed... We killed the bear before we healed, so... It's possible those bear cuts could go off. I think it's based on when you butcher the bear, though, in which case they should be fine. I almost want to just leave them for science. Ooh. Excuse me. But... Okay, that's still cooking, and that's ready to go. And we could cook the bear cuts now.
and we will. Let's move our stuff back a bit somewhere else. Not, not quite so near the fire. Is he eating on his own? Feed the dog. He sees the fire come out. He knows what's coming. Well, he didn't want to eat very much. Okay. This was a bit overcautious. I'm about 90% sure these would not have gone stale. But you've seen how valuable these cuts are if they're well cooked. So I didn't want them to go to waste. All right, pull them off the fire, put them in the cellar, and back to cooking. And we didn't level cooking unless we did on the very last batch. So we will eat some more of these delicious. Ooh. Still don't know why they're in a different stack, but I don't think we're going to solve that mystery today. Um, that's ready. That's not. We can go do some herb lore to kill a bit of time. We could go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. I'm bitterly cold. Let's go stand by the fire for a little while. After we drop these off. Rest off our fatigue. Feed the dog. Just sit here for a few until we're cool.
This is taking quite a while. There we go. And let's grab the elk skin. We've fed the dog, but we'll give him one last chance. Oh, he, he took it. He was happy to take that chance. I don't see a rock on the log, so we haven't used it, or the trunk, we haven't used it yet. So we'll grab a rock. He didn't eat much, though. And we'll come over here and <clears throat> this will take most of our, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, we leveled swimming a bit. This will take most of our vigor out of us, which is why I didn't anticipate hunting the bear today, because we've got the bear skin next to And we'd probably be a good idea to go sell the meat. So another injury is fully healed. Drop the rock. Decent elk fur. So there was no um, suspense about that. Um, feed the dog. Have something to eat. Uh, more of these, more of this stack of delicious. And the last one. Excuse me. This is now ready for the next stage. It's noon and we're tired. I think I'll sleep outside since my fatigue is so high. Now, ah, we overslept. Oh well. We're pretty close to those villages. So, or that village and that settlement. We'll see how long this takes. Hopefully not too long. <laughs> Crap. It's late evening. Hmm. Injuries 10%. Um, well, the way this timed out, I guess we're going to hunt the bear now. So let's do that in the next episode. This will be a bit of a short one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.